Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. You know that God is no respecter of persons. When it rains on the just, it rains on the unjust also. Most people might ask, but well, why? Why is it that it rains in Christians' lives also? Because God wants us to grow in the image of our Lord Jesus Christ with the knowledge that we have. Yes, my friends, we're gonna have trouble in this world. There's gonna be rain, it's gonna come, it's gonna rain on the just and the unjust. Make no mistake about it. But listen to what Paul writes when he talks in uh, Ephesians chapter one and verse, and verse 18. This is his prayer. His prayer is that the eyes of your heart will be enlightened. He wants us to understand the things that's happening in this world is it happens to everyone but because we are in christ we understand that we are now his and he wants us to grow as these trials and these troubles that come upon us he says i'm praying that the eyes of your heart will be enlightened that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you what are the riches of his glory his glorious inheritance in the saints john chapter 6 and verse John chapter 16 and verse 33 says, I said these things so that you might have peace. My friends, we can have peace in the midst of storms and rains because it rains on the just and the unjust. The only difference is, as believers, we have the promise, the promise of eternal life. And I love uh, what Jesus says in uh, uh, John chapter 10. He said that no one can snatch us out of the Father's hand. Isn't that wonderful? My friends, yes, we're going to have trouble, trials, problems, tests. We're seeing that all over. No one is immune to it. It doesn't matter where you live. You can buy a big house, small house, mansion, a house, a mansion, a gated community. Trouble, trouble, trouble. It's everywhere. <laughs> you think you can escape the rain and the showers? No. But what we can do is what Jesus says, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world sees peace. The world sees peace as having everything their way. No troubles, no problems, no trials. When it rains, it never rains on them. But yes, it does. And as believers, we welcome the rain. We welcome the things that's happening to us because what it does, it increases our strength in our Lord Jesus Christ. We have security in him. It is a wonderful thing to trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, it doesn't matter about the rain, the showers, let it come. Because what we have is far greater and that is the promise that our Lord Jesus Christ has given us. So you must understand this. Paul says, I'm praying that the eyes of your heart will be enlightened, that you will come to understand his plan, his ultimate plan is that heaven and earth be one, united with our Lord Jesus Christ that it's gonna be a wonderful day. And yes, right now, we do experience the trials, the tests, the problems. There's nowhere you can go. Buy your house uh, in heaven estates if it's here on this earth. <laughs> Trust me, there will be trouble, there will be problems, there will be trials. Yes, you'll see the news and someone will come on and say, well, this has never happened in our neighborhood. Well, welcome to planet earth. That's right, because on planet earth, it rains on everybody, the just and the unjust. But the promise that we have is in our Lord Jesus Christ. We are his. Do you hear him speaking? Our Lord Jesus is always speaking. Do you hear that? He is calling your name. Yes, you might be struggling right now with problems. You're hurt, pain, sickness, death. He's calling your name. He says, come to me. Come into a relationship with me and I will give you eternal life. And he says, I give you the peace. My peace I give you is not as the world has. Oh, my friend, we can stand out in the rain all day and all night long because we know what the future holds. And that future holds a relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. One day being with him. I long for that day when he comes back and he rules. No more pain, no more sorrow, yes the peace that we always wanted. But right now, it's raining. That's right, and it rains on the just and the unjust. It's cloudy, 
It's a cloudy, it's cloudy all over. Uh, those where it's raining. So even if you're a Christian, you're still under the cloud, but at the same time, we're in Christ. So we are protected. We are abiding in him. And what we're doing, we're showing this world that the image of Christ, we are ambassadors of a kingdom that is coming by being able to weather the storm, not in our might, it is in the might of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. I am so glad that he has the power. He has the power. Yes, he does. And that power is in us. And he wants us to go out into the world and tell everyone about the hope that we have inside of us. But it's the key. When we do it, we want to do it with gentleness and respect. Do you hear him speaking? He is speaking. Do you hear him calling? He's calling your name. He wants you, my friends, in a relationship with him. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about these things. Isn't the rain lovely? Yes, it is. Enjoy it. Hear him speak.